Okay, I'm going to bring up your website, Carrie. Okay. How awesome I'm going to take it? notes old school style, okay. pen and paper. How's that work? I'll show you later. Okay. Cool. I'll do a feature. Yeah. CarrieWeb.com is Carrie's new website, and she is going to be blogging. Oh, look, Carrie, a widget. A widget! <laughs> Isn't that nice? So uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to actually go through and learn to blog on a Joomla content management okay. system. So, uh, so if you're following along at home, you can uh, you can learn this along with Carrie, and certainly visit her website often and visit her blog. Um, so this is your cue that you need to actually write your visit blog her entries. Visit blog. Visit her blog and uh, be able to follow along and learn along with Carrie. And if you have any specific questions, if you're following along and learning with her. Um, then it's an opportunity for you as a viewer to be able to get your questions in in the chat room during the live show and things like that. So, Carrie, all we want to do is just add administrator. If I typed it right, that would be good. Administrator to the mm -hmm. end of your address. So, if you're using Joomla, that's how you do it. You just add administrator to the end of the address, and that's going to take you to the admin login. All right. So now you log in as your as your like with your user access, and I'll provide that for you. Oh, thank you. I'm so helpful. Yeah. I can't talk and type. See that? Uh -oh. Every time I talk and type, I don't do it very well. <laughs> it's okay. I can't sing and clap. Weird. I know. Uh, so what I want to learn uh, today and just kind of touch on, Carrie, is creating sections uh, and categories and then creating our first blog entry, which is just a very, very basic blog entry. Okay. So this is the administration panel of Joomla 1.5.9. So this is what Carrie is currently basing her website on. So we've got basically the, the quick links here. These are kind of handy. This is called the control panel. But the first thing that we want to do, and I've already started setting this up for you, Carrie, but we're going to learn sections and categories. So a section, that's like your blog. So you're probably not going to need that because on your website, pardon me, I've already created Carrie's blog. Nice. So if you haven't created a, a, uh, like a blog entry in your, in your sections, you need to do that first thing. And then from there, we're going to create categories within your blog section. So now we're going to Category Manager, okay? And then we can select Section over here. We're going to go Carrie's blog or your blog or whatever you want to call it, and then create sections here. These are categories. So I've created general musings for just your general thoughts, technology, and you can create new sections just by going up here and clicking on New, or pardon me, New Categories. Okay. This is a section. This is a category. Oh, gosh. Okay. You won't ever need to create a section because I created Carrie's blog. Oh, That's okay. your section. So we're always going to create uh, your categories within Carrie's blog. Not under text articles, but Carrie's blog. Oh, these, okay. these are blog categories. What would you blog about? Oh. Like just off the top of your head, just one thing. Hobbies? I don't Hobbies? know. Okay. So let's. Day to day? So will we say, um, like, Category 5? Medical stuff? Sure. Because you seem to know a lot about it. Sure. Or category five related, yeah, that's okay. fine too. Um, let's just say you want to have a, a blog, an actual blog about category five. Your okay. experience is working with Robbie Ferguson, right? Mm -hmm. So you could create uh, a new entry with that title. Okay. So this is our category. We're going to publish it. Yes. Set it to Carrie's blog. And you can actually, if you want to start taking registrations, you can set whether you want people to have to be registered or not. But we're just going to say public. This is a public blog. So public means anyone and can read it. Anyone can read it. They can find you in Google, and they can join you. They can read it. But so it's not like a Facebook wall where they can leave a message. You can if you set it up that way. But no, it's, mo it's mostly for them to be able to read. And, okay. and Facebook is more personal. Like that's you only want to add your very closest friends and stuff. Right. Whereas this is like just, it's just your musings. It's a place okay. for you to talk about the things that you learn, uh, whatever. It's just like a, a it's like an online journal, but everybody can okay. read it. So fun, fun. Very. So when you're done there and you've entered all that information, we can just save. And now we've got this new category called category five. So that was pretty straightforward, eh? I think I got it. Okay. So we now have a category, and we can start now blogging within that category. Okay. So it's going to actually be sorted. People can go into Carrie's blog and then Category 5 and view only the stuff that pertains to Category 5. So if I... Okay, so uh, how many different categories can as I have? As many as you want. Unlimited. So I can have, like, what I eat for breakfast, like, everything. Yeah, let's try to keep it... Oh, okay. You don't want to confuse, like, and then you, and then you have to figure out, okay, where do I put this? Is this, is this more like breakfast or brunch? <laughs> you know, to put food. <laughs> You know, okay. food. Keep and it then broad. Yeah, keep it broad, and then and then you can have anything that falls within that into that category. Okay. All right. 
So now we'll create our first blog entry, and we're just going to go content, uh, article manager, and remember this, this is going to be a little different if you're using Joomla 1.x, uh, 1.0.x as opposed to 1.5. So there's your three current entries on the website. So we're going to go new up here, we're going to create a new blog entry. This okay. is how easy it's going to be. So first things we need to do is give it a title, uh, working with Robbie. Okay. Give it an alias. Uh, oh. Working with Robbie. Whatever. Like you it. can leave that blank and it's going to automatically create it for you. Uh, section. Gary's blog. Okay. Very important. You need to select that. And then where you want it. Where does this fall? Oh, pick it a falls category. Under category 5. Right. If oh. you'd like, if this is an important blog entry, you can add it to your front page. So, uh, say if I'm adding something each day and I want it to be the first thing that viewers see, I can make that my first page. You can well adding it to your front whatever. page means if they just go to carryweb.com, they'll see it right there. Okay. As opposed to actually having to click on blog. Cuz it's always okay. going to be at the top because it's shown like newest to first, right? So it would be something Okay, yeah. So okay. in this case, let's say we're not going to put it on the front page, uh, but we're going to start blogging. So then you can just start typing away. And we'll actually activate your white so as well so that you can do bold and Underlining oh, okay. and stuff like that, so okay. it look a little bit different. That's so that's great. all there is to it. So if that was your actual blog entry, it's very, very basic for today. We're going to hit save. It's going to tell you if you've made any errors, but in this case we've done okay. So then if we go back to your website and click on Carrie's blog over on the left-hand side, you'll see that the first item is going to be working with Robbie. That's the item that we just created. Now, you clicked Carrie's blog, but you didn't yes. have to select a category. No, because in this case, um, there's nothing else. Oh, okay. But if I had other things people in other categories... People can narrow it down by category, but they don't have to. Oh, okay. So it, putting them in categories gives people the opportunity to only see certain topics. Okay. But it, by default, the, the view is going to show everything that you've blogged about. Okay. That's great. Mm -hmm. that's, straightforward. that's really straightforward. If you got lost, Carrie, you can watch it on the meet. I could. <laughs> I could watch it on the meat.